From portable to full size, many of you all are relying on generators to run everything from a few appliances to your whole house. All around the Arklatex, generators have flown off the shelves. At least one hospital has seen an influx of patients suffering from the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. We spoke with a doctor from Willis Knight and who has some tips to help you keep safe. People in Arklatex, if you are purchasing generators, be sure, number one, number one rule, do not run them in your house at all. Like, that is a for sure way to get carbon dioxide poisoning. Don't put them in any enclosed space close to your house, like a back porch that's enclosed, a side porch, front porch. Um, the safest distance, it kind of varies, but you want it at least 20 feet away from the house, and you don't want it around any kind of anything that could bring the, it, the exhaust into the house. Uh, you know, if there's a fan outside that could bring it in um, under the garage. A lot of people are putting stuff under garages and then they're going in and out with that door open. And guess what? That generator is building up and it's going in that house through the door. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are just a general feeling of not feeling well. You may feel just not right. You can have dizziness, you can have nausea, you can have vomiting, you can have a headache, you can have shortness of breath. And that can progress to where you actually pass out. And then, you know, if you pass out, hopefully somebody will find you because that level of carbon monoxide will build up in your blood and can lead to death if you don't seek treatment immediately. Some of the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include dizziness, nausea, vomiting, headache, and shortness of breath.